I'm sure you would be waiting for this exercise in this training. So as a first exercise, what we will do is we will go to the purchase order header EKKO and then we will associate it with the purchase order item EKPO using an association and then we will show you how that exposed association works and how we can retrap the data on demand. So the join will happen only when we want the data through the association. Okay, so without further delay, let me go and right click at the data definition. Uh, I hope that you know how to create a CDS view by now. If not, you can look into the other articles and uh, training materials at sapr.com. So I'll just click new definition. I'll write say G S Y uh, P O purchase purchase association. Okay, so we'll say purchase order association with item okay i hit next it will ask for a transport i choose my transport then it will ask for a template i can use any of the template but since we are playing around with association so i'll use define view with association and it will write this code for me so i don't need to type myself the template will be ready and here we are so we have the association um, cds view with association template so this is the template and now the first thing which i need to do is i need to go and change the sql view name so this is the first exercise you know and in our project the fourth field has to be v v for sql view and then we remove all the underscores and then we need to make it within 16 characters so i'll just delete some more randomly so p u r a s s o so i hope this is within 16 letters and then i want to change the source the source i said it will be a purchase order header so e k k o is my source and then i have the association of one here if i don't change the association cardinality then it will think that a header will have only one item but that is not the case in real scenarios one purchase order can have multiple uh, items therefore what i'll do i'll say one dot dot star that means it will have at least one or more than one to the target data source name so what is the target data source name the target data source name is ekpo so that is the item and then i have to give an association name please note this is not an alias name okay so expose usually when you say as then you give an alias name but this is not an alias name this is an association name so here also by default the template set association name so i'll say underscore so i'll just give a g name z uh, p o item i'm trying to write in camel case and then ekq element name so what is the field which we will have an on condition with the header and item it should be the purchase order number eblen e b e l n and then target name here you will give the association name again what is the association name we just define underscore z p o item and then the field value the field value is again e b e l n and then here we have not selected anything yet so what i'll do i'll select uh, this is called the projection list or the output so we'll select the key field from uh, purchase order header we'll also select the organ purchase org and then we can select vendor and then we can have the association exposed so we'll just so what i did so what I did, I have just exposed the association. So this is the association. I'm not selecting any fields from the association, but it exposed in the projection of the CDS. So if you want to uh, do a beautify, I can just say format. So it did some formatting, make association public. So that means, so this is, this is an example of a exposed association, okay? Now let me activate it. So you will see the progress on the right hand side on corner and then it will see the success of failure here. So it's successful. 
and now let me test it in order to test it i will hit f8 you can also do right click and do print preview or data preview so i'll do f8 and then it will just show me the data from the purchase order header so what data it is coming ekko it's just showing eblm eqrg and lifner it is not showing anything from the zpo item so till now the join has not have happened in the system okay so so looking at the cds it is the semantics which says that there is an association there is a relationship between the header and the item but that relationship or that join has not happened yet you have one set of data but still till now the join has not happened that's why it is called join on demand or it is called a lazy join so now if you want to do or make the association work now what you need to do you need to tell the system that yes you are ready you have evaluated the data from the header now you want to go and dive deep into the system and see what are the items okay so this if you see if i if i go here and if i right click here and say follow associations at this point if i click enter here at this point the join happens in the database level so this is the on demand this is the lazy join which we have been talking about in this training so i click here follow association it will say that okay the cardinalite is one to many and i double click here and then you see here so for that particular record of header it is showing me this entry so now the actual join has happened till we were executing and getting data from ekq there was no join it was just fetch from the ekq but the signature said there was an association and now finally the association has happened and the optimization is such good that you are getting only those records from that join for which you want the data to be visible so it's not pulling everything from ekpo it's just fetching you like a drill down so so this is called a join on demand and this happens because of the exposed association so this particular entry which we checked it had only one Uh, line item but there can be like many line items for a given po so let me see if if this has multiple entries so what i'll do i'll again go follow the association and then let's see how many values get pulled up from the item okay yeah this has two item you see so this what i was telling you say so based on the cardinality so if it has more than one so more than one will be displayed uh, when you hit the association or when you say follow the association and show me all the associated values so this was association on demand or the exposed association now how can we change this association to an ad hoc association so it's very simple so let me comment this exposed part source code add comment and then i'll say i'll use the association gpo i term and then i'll say E B E L P. That is the line item number. I'll say Z P O item, and there is a field called Matner. I know in the P O item there is Matner, and also let's select the plant. And now let's give a some. Okay, I lost the connection. Let me reconnect back. So all right I am back so let me give a comment here so this will be ad hoc assessor a d h o c a s s o c i a t r so when you are specifying the particular fields of your association on ad hoc basis that means this is an ad hoc association and the join really happens at the database level okay so when i activate so i have activated it and now i'll test it i'll test it by pressing f8 so when this we are pulling the data from the cds this cds what happened it is fetching from ekko and ekpo both tables and in this case the join is triggered at the time we are executing and it is no more a, a join on demand or a lazy join but it is just like a normal join it is it is not 
association uh, on demand okay and if if this cds were to be used standalone and without using any um, anywhere in other other objects then probably you could use a join directly here because join and association will have the same impact on this particular cds so for our um, further exercise i'll just comment this ad hoc and i will activate the uh, exposed one all right so i add this and i remove the comment for the exposed one so we want to keep this cds as ex with this exposed association so that it will help us in our next exercise so in the next exercise we'll create another uh, cds view using this view and then it will also have a association so what will happen that particular view will have two associations one from itself and one from this view and then we will show you two level of drill down in the output so let's create another cds view